What do you do, beautiful people? Your girl, poet. Man, it's a rainy day, but that does not stop the news from being done. Let me tell you what I'm hearing. Pay no attention to the fact that I have on one earring. It's been that kind of day. Chad Ochocinco finally out of jail, hit Good Morning America, and it was all about him saying that he's happy that he was sent to jail because it allowed him to slow down. Meanwhile, TMZ decides to post the infamous pictures of Evelyn Lanzada with her head busted open. Now, some are claiming it's right in time for PR for Basketball Wives, which is about to gear up again, and sometimes it's just unfortunate that people use something like domestic violence, or as I like to call it, intimate terrorism, to get a couple hits on a website. It happened how long ago? You're just now posting the pictures? What would be the reason? That is also the same question people are asking Rihanna. Are you partying so much at night into the wee hours of the morning, like 4, 5, 6 a.m., that now you're sleeping through your day, missing your sound checks, and now being late to all your concerts? Not a good look, but Rihanna, never mind all that. Still tweeting that she loves her Rihanna Navy. Now, unfortunately, the reviews coming in for some of her shows are not as good. People are calling it boring, lackluster, the fact that she's singing over tracks. Somebody even compared her to doing a Justin Bieber. Ouch. Drake is on the cover of GQ looking all kinds of good. I told you I'm in a Drake mood right now. I've been listening to him recently. He was asked about the infamous Chris Brown situation. He says that he wished they could sit down like men, but he knows that it would never happen and it would still have a very ugly outcome. When he thinks about Chris Brown in certain situations with Chris Brown, it just gets ugly emotionally for him. And we know that Drake is certainly our favorite emo thug. AI has returned his kids. It turns out that his ex-wife, Tawana, had access to their kids the whole time. What was the problem? She didn't want to drive the 45 minutes it was going to take for her to pick up her kids. So instead, you go to a judge and tell them that your ex-husband kidnapped them. Not cool at all, but have we all not been in a relationship where there was a little bit of crazy? Little Wayne... I saw your tweet and your little vino or whatever vine saying that, well, you didn't mean to step on the flag during your performance of God Bless America. And I really, really want to believe you. The only problem, ouch, during that video, we all saw you look down more than once, more than twice, more than three times. So you knew you were trampling the flag. I think that you just got caught and your PR people are like, yo, just say you sorry you didn't know and move on because people are always gunning for you either way. Kim Kardashian is clapping back at people that are saying she induced her labor so that she wouldn't have to share her due date with the Duchess Kate Middleton. Horrible. Who pushes their baby out almost a month early and at five pounds for PR and publicity? Well, I would like to believe that she did not. And we're just going to move on from that. I am hearing rumors that a possible name for the baby is like Kai Georgia Donda West. But you know, those rumors will be circulating and flying high until they decide to tell us. I am hearing that the baby's name will start with a K, but that's nothing new. MJB, more money woes. Seems that there's an entertainment company, Vision Entertainment. Booked her for a show in Dallas in December of 2012. Paid her $145,000 in, I guess, a deposit. She canceled the show a couple days before. They couldn't find somebody else for MJ's place. But she never gave back her deposit. So now they're suing her for the deposit, breach of contract, and a whole bunch of other things. that are probably going to total, at the end of it all, like $300,000. How crazy is that? Oh, and did you know Kanye West, Black Skinhead, is going to be featured in a Martin Scorsese film with Leonardo DiCaprio? See, we ain't got to understand his music. Apparently, he knows exactly who he's supposed to be answering to. Shout out to Dave Chappelle, who is hitting the road finally. Funny or Die um, comedy tour. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if he even goes through with it because, you know, well, he don't like dealing with people at all. And are the rumors true? Rashida, you and Kirk Kiki and then loving it up after this man told you to abort the baby and he didn't even think it was his? I can't with that, but I mean, I guess people choose to do whatever it is that they want to do. Ooh, why are people blaming Jaden uh, Smith for the reason why Will Smith's After Earth didn't perform like it was supposed to? You know, he's always like the $40 million man, and in this instance, he was not. So people are like, it's because you keep trying to make us like your son, and he's just not you. We're not going to like him. We never will, and there's nothing you can do about it. People can be mean. I mean mean. Oh, and hey, Nico from Love & Hip Hop ATL. Is there a Hollywood, a.k.a. Carrie Rhodes, about to pop out on you with all kinds of stuff to put you on extra blast about what you've done in your past life? I'm just saying. I'm your girl, Poet, and that is officially your Just Curious Report. Find me at PoetTaylor.com so we can talk about the fool that tweeted J. Cole with a picture of his sister with a gun to her head talking about retweet me or I'm going to kill my sister. I can't with y'all. Social media is about to be the death of people. <laughs> Find me on Instagram, Po Chains, all that good stuff. I love you. Thanks for supporting. I'm out. I got to drive safe. Oh, 
Well, that's another report for another day. I got to tell you about what happened at Wale's album listening session last night. Yeah, I put on my sexy voice for that. Peace out, y'all.